Pissed me off. This trade right here. The Thunder oh traded goodness. Josh Giddy for Alice Caruso, and it was they didn't give up no a one picks. to one trade. A one to one trade. This this was the what most. What are the Bulls doing? Yeah, this pissed me off, and th this was this this just shows us that number one, they're gonna not they're gonna let Lonzo Ball go. He's probably gonna get cut. Get get a buyout, and it's unfortunate for Lonzo Ball, but yeah, Josh Giddy, and they were and they were campaigning. They were they were putting Alex Cruz out there like, oh yeah, you you gonna have to give up multiple first, yeah, you're gonna have to give up a player, a good player for him. I'm like, yo, and then it's just, oh, at the end of the day, we're just gonna we're just gonna do a one on one trade. Like it's just gonna be, oh, just give us Giddy, and we're good, Bruh. <laughs> bro. You know how many people would have done that trade? Everybody. What? You telling me jo all it took was a Josh Giddy type of player for Alice Caruso? I don't know if they're banking on him developing, but he, the only thing I see him do good is pass. He can't defend. He can't shoot. What does he do well? At least Alice Caruso is a 3 and D. And like a high end three and D player, mm -hmm. he's a, he's a great role player. Yeah, a great role. That's player. a championship type role player. Yeah, and you gave him to the best team in the West for pretty much nothing. Uh, I'm still mad. What the best day. record team in the I'm West? I'm still mad to this day. Palenka didn't resign him. They could have. They could have resigned him. But they really decided could've. to sign Taylor Horn Tucker, which made absolutely no sense. And I said it when it happened. I was like. I don't know what people him were over. seeing. Man, yeah. but, but anywho, that was, that was, that was a long <laughs> a time ago. We don't, we don't need to talk about that. But, yeah, man, you, you gave Alice Caruso away for pennies? Dude, it just made no sense. It just made a lot of sense. I guess the no Bulls sense. are just trying to go younger. They, I guess they're getting rid of DeRozan, too, and Zach Levine. I would hope they finally get rid of DeRozan. They just need to just blow it up. Like, y'all y'all, y'all not, yeah. not competing. Like, Vucevic, get rid of Vucevic. Get rid Kobe of Kobe White's DeRozan. taking a new step, so try to build, have him be one of the core pieces of the rebuild. Just rebuild for the future. But I don't yeah. know I don't know if, if that, that front offense wants to do it because they've been so reluctant in trying to – go full rebuild for so long. Like, they've been trying – they've been constantly like, oh, you know, we got a good enough team to compete for a playoff spot. Like, really? Are, are we being for real right now? Like, you really want to be so delusional, so naive that you think that this team is good enough to compete them, for a playoff them spot? Two games of, them two games of playoff revenue ain't moving the needle that much. Just, just to be in the play-in. Just to compete for the plan, like you, you think, you think that's good enough. The Chicago Bulls to just compete in a plan. And the funny thing is, they so thirsty for playoff attendance and stuff. The Bulls lead; they they like one of the top attendance teams, no matter what their record is. <sighs> Man, this I feel bad for Bulls fans. They shouldn't be. I'd be to you this. know how mad I'd be if I was a Bulls fan and I see the Magic about to lap us and, and they was just in the lottery not to. Are you kidding yeah, me? Yeah, they, they were in purgatory too at one point, but now they're doing great. Won 40 something games. They, yeah, they made all the right decisions. They, they, getting the number one pick definitely helps. And they also have other guys that support Paulo Bancaro as well. So, yep. They've just done a lot of good decisions. They they were like, hey, we're going to go full rebuild, and they have benefited for it, from it. The Chicago Bulls, on the other end, they just don't want to go full rebuild, and I just don't understand. It's like your team is not good. It's like kicking the can down the road. Like eventually you're going to have to put it in the trash. It's like why, like why do you want to continue to be mid all the time? Like I'd rather be trash than mid because mm. at least I know that, okay, they're going full rebuild. We're going to get – possibly a really good pick I, I just don't understand the logic it just, it just doesn't make any sense and they continue to do over the reason they ain't win nothing since Jordan was dead and, and, and it's because remember when everybody was healthy when Lonzo Ball was healthy when when um DeMar DeRozan you had DeMar DeRozan you had Zach Levine and everything they were like at one point the number one seed yeah they were and they were like oh my god we're we're making all the smart decisions 
and then everybody gets hurt. So yeah. you, you have to you and have then, to adjust. You have yeah. to go to Plan B. And then you get hurt. Then you get dropped to the eighth seed. Now you got to play Giannis. <laughs> You, you have to you have to adjust. You you have to go to Plan B. Okay, that didn't work. All right, time to rebuild. The plan didn't work. It looked promising, but it is what it is. It happens. You took a gamble and it didn't work. So now you got to go to Plan B, and it seems like they're reluctant to go to a full on rebuild, and that's unfortunate. All right. Um, I want to go. I think I think we'll uh we'll pass on the Ryan Garcia stuff. I want to go. I want to go to the final topic. I want to go to Angel Reese and Caleb. Just let me be me.